Welcome to January in Jamaica. I'm here with Chef Adam and Chef Jenna. I'm Chef John. Today we're going to have a demonstration by Chef Adam and Chef Jenna. And what are you going to be making today? We're going to make um, what I refer to, or actually what I was taught um, by a friend. Um, we're making Egyptian pie. Uh, the recipe's in my little gadgeting book here. But uh, we're doing a variation. And it, some varieties look like that. Mm -hmm. With the fresh fruits and vegetables. Or fresh fruits. There's no vegetables in this. But this is going to be the filling here. What I'm demonstrating is I'm going to make a, a banana cream with cinnamon and vanilla, and that's going to go on top of the pie. Some of the other ingredients in the pie, we're using dates for the crust, uh, along with walnuts that have been soaked. Uh, we're going to here's some fresh coconut, which we actually scraped just a second ago. Um, this is a mature coconut, uh, and you get this nice uh, the fatty meat. Um, which is nice and white. This little creation here is a fruit salad we served yesterday, and we found out that we found out that when it's refrigerated, it becomes like a gel. So it's going to be a really nice um, filling for the pie. Uh, so here we go. We have seven bananas in the blender. I'm going to start adding ingredients. Um, we got some cinnamon and some vanilla. We're just going to put that in here. We might need a little liquid. If that's the case, we'd use coconut water because that's what we like. Um, can I get a hat for the blender and the tamper? And then we'll get this going. Now, with the variable speed blender, this is a Vitamix. You can't see, but there's we got the middle knob here. I can actually turn this on without the lid. It you wouldn't want to do that. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Very status. It's going to be all the rage in France. Um, so you wouldn't want to turn your blender on without the hat if you had the two-speed Vitamix because it would be on the ceiling. But we can do that and we're going to tamp this down. We're going to want a nice thick creamy sauce. So we don't actually have to add any water. Look at that. Bananas are like 85% water, believe it or not. subtleties that are in the going to be in this cream sauce that goes on top of the pie. Salt, do we need some salt? Thank you. And, and what kind of salt are you adding? This is um, a sea salt. Um, you can use a Himalayan salt, a uh, Hawaiian salt. Um, what you're going to be looking for is using a, a naturally dried uh, whole food source of salt either from, uh, from like the Himalayan sea uh, salt or the um, Irish Celtic, Celtic sea salt. And then there's Redmond salt that's uh, collected from salt deposits. What you want is it from a, from a chemistry standpoint to be an organic salt. Now we're not talking about USDA organic, we're talking about organic chemistry where the molecules are bound to carbon molecules and that there's other minerals in the salt. We don't want the dead salt. We don't want the iodized salt, it's chemical, chemistry, poisonous to the body. That stuff comes out your pores, makes you taste like salt. If your sweat tastes like salt, your body is detoxing salt. It doesn't like what you're putting in it. So here we go, mix the salt in there. And that's it. Let's taste it, see if this dog will hunt. I taste the vanilla. Mm. I think I put too much salt in that. <laughs> it's a little salty, so what we're going to do, we're going to throw, throw a couple more bananas in there. There we go. There we go. So I got a little heavy hand with the salt there. Maybe these bananas are salty because we're so close to the ocean. so he's not lonely, all his friends, all together. Okay, that 
was quick and easy. Aside from a little salt detour, um, I think we're Mm, good, sweeter, sweeter. All right, so check back later. We'll assemble the pie, and you'll see. Fortunately, you can't taste the slice, but we'll uh, mmm and yummy it up for you. All right, see you later. Thank you for coming to January in Jamaica. You can visit us in Jamaica or visit us on our website www.happyrawfood and click on Jamaica Retreat.